Hey, what's going on, everybody? Biver Sandy here, and today we have some news about Tier 2 camping. Especially bad news if you are a Tier 2 camper or bought an NFT to Tier 2 camp. So I'm just going to jump into Discord and jump right into the news. So here I am in the Bitverse's official Discord in the announcements channel, and here we have the latest announcement from Juniper. Uh, hi, heroes. With this week's release, we've made changes to the Tier 2 leaderboard rewards. Please see the attached message from the Bitverse leadership regarding, these, <clears throat> regarding this update. Here's the gut rancher. Going forward, Tier 2 will no longer reward gems. What? We've replaced this with familiar base chest rewards, which are outlined in the attached image. What? Note, the newly implemented tier rewards listed above are subject to potential change in the future, should it be deemed necessary at the time. So, they've taken away tier 2 camping gems. I'm going to jump in game. I haven't logged in today on my tier 2 camper. So, let's see what, uh, what we're dealing with here. As I'm loading in here, I should say... A normal week for me, I get about 800 or 900 gems from PvP and 800 or 900 gems from Trial Gauntlet. 70 gems and a shrimp. Okay. And 100 gems there. That's normally a lot higher. And I've got videos documenting what the Tier 2 camping uh, rewards should be. So I'm going to look in PvP. I'm going to look at the rewards. Oh my gosh, they gutted it. Yeah, they give you three epic familiars from the zone you're in. Okay. The, they realize that I have almost a full team of Robbies. I just need a couple more Robbies at this point. Epic familiars are actually worthless to me as a tier two camper. Um, So they've taken quite literally the best thing, gems. And just turned it into useless. <laughs> like, I don't even want more familiars and that are just epic. Points? Okay, you can still get 100 gems a week. Let me just double check the gauntlet. But I'm sure it's also been gutted. Yeah. Ugh. I mean, that's, ju that's just lame. Uh, let's, let's continue reading the rest of the Discord announcement. Each chest will grant one tier one or tier two familiar that fits the rarity of the chest, meaning that if you get an epic chest, you'll get epic familiar. Uh, these changes will provide new users with rewards that are more closely aligned with their needs in those tiers and are intended to encourage players to continue progressing in their bid hero's quest journey. We understand these changes may not come as pleasant news for some members of the community, specifically those who are in possession of multiple heroes that are currently used to camp this tier for gem rewards. So they're aware of it and they're just saying, you know, we don't, this is literally, we don't care about you. Like, I don't know how else to read this. Um, literally, we understand that this may come as not pleasant. <laughs> like, okay, thank you, Congregate. While we initially believed that there would be only a handful of players who would utilize this strategy and we were not particularly concerned about it, after watching data trends for the past few months, we have observed that it has become problematic. I, I, I have to ask, like, what's the problem? Is the problem that people are getting gems? Is the problem that we're having fun with it? Like, that sucks. This is detrimental to the economy of the game? Like, what economy? There's no market. There's no trading. It's just... <laughs> I know what the economy is. It's, it's people buying gems. This is detrimental to people buying gems from them, which, like, they're a business. I get it, but... People bought NFTs to tier camp. So like I, I've spent the most money in this game on NFTs. Quite literally, like 99% of the money I've spent on this game is in NFTs because I could tier camp. With this being pulled away, you're going to lose people like me spending money. So I just don't see this. Uh, new players who cannot get those gems anymore, which were meant to help them progress faster. Okay, hold on, hold on. They're saying this is detrimental to the economy, this is detrimental to new players, and detrimental to non-NFT players to the point where it threatens the longevity of BitHero's Quest. Wow. 
the only point in here that makes sense is right here. They promised to non-NFT players that the NFT perks would not be in-game advantages. But like, if you watch my video on on all you need to know about NFTs, like there's huge advantage to NFTs. I don't I don't know how they could have possibly promised that their <laughs> most of the perks were not advantages. Uh, it's pure advantages. Plus, non NFT players were also tier camping tier two because they would save up thousands or dozens of thousands of gems to get their first legendary pets and accessories, get themselves a mount, and then they would go up in the tiers after that. You have killed that strategy altogether for non NFT players. Okay, moving on. It's important that the broader community understand that the decision to change the tier two rewards lies with us and not the members of the community who supported us by purchasing Bitverse heroes. Please don't direct frustration their way. So they don't want you to be mad at NFT Andes. <laughs> okay. I'm pretty sure the NFT Andes are going to be the most mad, but whatever. Additionally, the round table was not privy to this change. So we asked the players to refrain from unfairly blaming them. Oh my gosh. I thought this is this is concerning to me. The round table was made for the community to be represented. Here we read, uh, we understand that these may not become be pleasant for the community. Here we read that um that the the the, the community wasn't even represented. The round table was not privy to this change like Please listen to the community. Listen to the round table. I, I I don't know whether the round table would have changed things or thought otherwise, but I think it's... I, I love the idea of the round table. It's the community's voice. Some of the top players, you know, level 1000s and stuff, people that have played the game the most are in the round table. They are, you know, they're champions and knights of the round table. They're supposed to represent us, stick up for us, and fight the big bad. It's crazy to think that a change like this that impacts so many people, that impacts everybody who tier two camps was just not even brought up to them or ran past them. I mean, this is just, uh, this is something they, sh they have to run by the round table. They need a community voice on this. If you're in position of an NFT and no longer satisfied, Please remember that these are player-owned assets and can be sold. <laughs> wow, they really just said, we have no solution for you, but you can get rid of your NFT. Okay. Um, we're still working on delivering outstanding perks, but also understand this may change may affect your desire to remain in possession of them. Yeah, pretty much the only reason I have more than one NFT is tier camping and this just rocked it this just gutted it we are keenly aware that some of our more savvy players raised concerns early on that we should have more closely heated and wait what we are keenly aware that some of our more savvy players raised concerns early on that oh so people told them about tier camping okay we should have more closely heated their concerns and we really regret immediately not recognizing the validity of their concerns. This is an important lesson for us, and we will be doing all we can in the future to avoid such scenarios from coming to pass. It's like the scenario that came to pass was people got gems. Like, this is not like the game. The, there's no bugs. There's no rollbacks. There's no errors or anything. It's literally... They just don't want us to earn gems like that. <laughs> like, come on. If you have feedback to share with us, please feel free to do so in feedback. Okay. When sharing feedback, you're welcome to be candid and for express, express frustration if needed. We ask that you only follow the Discord rules in doing so, and all feedback will be shared with the Biverse leadership. <laughs> And I'm only here one hour after the post, and the most <laughs> reacted is Omega Keck W, which I'm going to hit. Yo, <laughs> there's even roundtable members hitting it. 
this is this is bizarre. And then they hit us with this. The <laughs> this isn't even Excel. This is Google spreadsheets. Uh, and they just hit us with the upcoming rewards we can look forward to. So yeah, it literally is from gems to epic familiars. I mean, I don't even know what to think right now because the whole reason I have this NFT, Light Soul 14's existence is to earn gems for my other character. Um, now what can I do with him? Tear him up to tier 20? I mean, I don't have time to play a full character, uh, a third full character like that. You know, running through regens already takes hours every day. I can't add more hours. <laughs> um, that's insane. I think there's going to be a community outrage from the tier two campers. And honestly, like they did this to tier three a while back. And at least I warned people in my tier two camping video that this could happen. It's really unfortunate that it did happen. Um, I have a feeling that there's going to be a lot of NFT sales. Crash Price might crash. If you're looking for an NFT, yeah, now might be the time. Um, but it's hard to see, see. But it's hard to say like it's a good price for an NFT because they just lost their biggest, in my opinion, the biggest reason to get an NFT was for the gem income at tier two. I want to check tier one. I want to check my tier one camper. One of the reasons I have a tier one camper and a tier two camper, the only reason I have them in tier one was because of what they did to tier three. And now it's coming true with tier two. So I'm going to log in and check can't beat Z1, D3, my tier one camper. We're going to see if the rewards here are, oh, cool, error. And we're going to see if the rewards there are gutted as well. Because if tier one still gives, oh, I guess we're just having errors now. You know, I'm not even mad, like, uh, so, okay, here we are, <laughs> but I'm getting familiars. They literally did it for last week's rewards. They snuck it in before the, so I, oh. <laughs> they didn't just say, you know, screw you next week. They said, screw you on this last week of grinding as well. <laughs> wow. So here I am getting common familiars i mean thanks for the boo boo and baddie instead of 800 gems <laughs> like come on that's just not equal whatever um i guess they did it to tier one as well a little i'm just gonna double check yeah they did it to tier one as well okay so nobody's safe nobody's safe um it doesn't even mention that in the discord announcement but that's fine we checked it. Tier 1 is also gutted of the PvP gems. So what am I going to do with this with this character? I don't know. There's... <sighs> the gems I can get a, a per week went from almost 1,000 to, what, 100? If I play every day and I get ranked well... Uh, I usually don't get that that 100. It's it's you know you saw me get the 40. Oh man, that is pretty disappointing. You know they take away first they take away big gores in the boost box. Then they take away gems from tier two campers. You know I'm not even mad at just like a personal level, but like a community wide level, because I have shown players on my channel how to tier two camp. I have suggested to players that they buy NFTs to tier two camp. My viewers, the Bitverse Andes, have gone out and spent hundreds to maybe thousands of dollars buying NFTs for the sole purpose of tier two camping to earn gems. And now what? That's all stripped away. I miss. I, I did I mislead my my audience? I don't know. You know that's. That's a crappy scenario to put me in. I know one person. Uh, he's he's the savage. Uh, maybe I can find him on my friends list here. Yeah. All these name, name 12, name 13, name 14. He's got 20 NFTs. Click on one of them, tier two. Every single one of them is a tier two camper. You know why? It's for gems. Do I think that this person would have 
bought those 20 NFTs to T2 camp if they didn't get gems? No. Uh, that's gut-wrenching to them. Their entire strategy was just whooshed away on the wind on a whim without even with without even talking to the round table. You know, I'm sorry for anybody who had to follow had followed my advice. Um, you know, I shouldn't be taking responsibility for for this because it was the best strategy in the game to earn gems. Um, and it sucks that I shared it and now people in my community are getting hurt from it. So <sighs> I guess, you know, congregate just hates rewarding players. Um, <laughs> it's like the simplest way to put it. So this definitely sucks, but I'm hopeful that they'll overturn it. Um, what I'm going to probably do is hang on to my tier campers. I'll probably keep playing them. I'll probably keep leveling them up, getting them in better position because I really hope this gets turned around. Um, I I know that there's going to be some players that take their tier two campers and tier them up because what's the point in staying anymore? Um, and, you know, maybe I'm just coping and hanging on to hope here too much that it'll get turned around, but I'd recommend, you know, I mean, I just don't want anybody to end up with a tier three person with a tier three hero and then this get overturned. So at least in the short term, I would recommend just hanging on to your tier two camper. Um, you know, you can, or you cannot continue playing them. It doesn't matter so much at this point, but I would just hate for members of my community, the bit for Sandy's, to get burned twice on this, you know, lose weeks of gem income and then up to your because they lost that benefit and then have that turned around for them to just feel like, oh my gosh, they just missed out. So that's my personal plan. Um, that's what I'm going to do. And that's, I don't even know if I want to say I recommend to do that because <laughs> maybe it's the wrong move and maybe changes that we want won't happen. So my plans for these NFTs, I don't know. I've got to think for a while, you know, I might sell them, but who's going to buy them? So it's tricky, but that's pretty much all for this video. Um, <laughs> you know, please let me know how you feel about this change in the comments below. And that's all for this one. Until next time, take care. Bye. <laughs>